Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this very simple makeup look. So I hope you guys keep on watching. So before I put any type of uh, makeup on my face, what I do is, of course, I wash it with soap and water. And I just use the regular Dove soap and twice a week I use uh, my St. Ed scrub. So I am from Canada, so uh, right now it's winter here, so I try to switch up my uh, moisturizers depending on the season. So my favorite during winter time is actually a product by Vichy. It is not a moisturizer. It is actually a one-step um, cleanser, and it's uh, called like a cleansing milk. And I like it because it makes my skin feel very dewy. So I just put a little bit on my face. What I use under my eyes on the eyelid and then I just try to let it sit and while I try to let it sit what I do is I do my brows so for the brows the product that I use is by Etude House it's an Asian brand it's particularly a Korean brand if I'm not mistaken and of course I'm Asian I just live in Canada but um, I really like Asian products especially Korean products because I feel like they make your makeup look very natural and just uh, very light so it has like um, two ends one is with a spoolie and then the other one is with the actual pencil i don't know if you can see it clearly but it's actually angled in a way so i what i do is i just brush through my hair and i try to brush it upwards and then sideways towards the end and just try to shape it a bit and then after that like this So after the brows, what I usually do is I put a primer on and for winter, I got a free sample from Sephora. It is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer and it has like a really mild coconut scent to it. I love it. I for sure will buy the um, full size for this one. I don't know why I just discovered this, but I love it. It smells so good. And it's perfect for winter. As I mentioned before, I want my makeup to look kind of dewy, not matte during the winter because the winter can be very drying to your skin. So for today's foundation, what I'm going to be using is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth. So this is perfect for the look that we're trying to achieve. We don't want matte or I don't want matte. As of the moment so um, this is my favorite my go-to everyday foundation I love Maybelline products they're very affordable and the quality is just very good as well and my shade is 225 that's a lot <laughs> only a little bit I don't know if you guys know Wayne Goss he is one of the makeup youtubers that I really look up to his videos are very short but very informative on point no extra chit chat like what I'm doing right now but what I learned from him is that you're not supposed to put a lot of foundation on your face so we're gonna try with this one it's actually a lot and the rest will go to waste but gonna put a little bit of blush and I'm still using Maybelline New York Master Contour by Face Studio and this is light to medium and we're gonna use the blush here I love the blush of this one it's just very subtle and not too pink not too overpowering so just do it like that and then just 
side. So for our contour, we're going to use my Smashbox contour palette. And I got this contour brush. I actually got it from eBay. And I don't spend money. I don't spend a lot of money on brushes. I probably should. Some of you might think. But this one, I actually got it for like less than $5 from eBay. Free shipping. So just contour a little bit here, here, and also here. Just a little bit. And then we're going to blend it after. And then I'm going to use the brush that I used a while ago for my uh, blush as a blending brush. So just blend it out. so for the bronzer what i'm going to be using is another drugstore product so very affordable this is the rimmel natural bronzer and it is actually waterproof so this is also perfect for the summer so i have this angle brush and just tap the excess So next what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using the bronzer palette on the Smashbox contour palette and I'm just going to put it on my eyebrows. I didn't even put any eyebrow primer. This is just like a very, I'm just using my fingers, very basic, everyday makeup look. I'm just gonna be putting mascara. I'm not even gonna be using eyeliner today. And my mascara is still with Maybelline. Obviously, I love Maybelline products. This is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. And I don't use curler either. I should probably invest in um, an eyelash curler, but what I do, I just use like one of my fingers to try to fan it out. And then just a very lightly and one thing that I also learned I think it was from Wayne Goss or I think another youtuber if I'm not mistaken but you're not supposed to be doing this because you're putting too much air on your mascara or inside your mascara container that it dries out your ma mascara faster so just one and then try to put a bit of product on your lashes. I love this mascara. And then you also try to put at the bottom, which is won't be much of a challenge. And yeah. To finish our look for today very simple look i'm gonna be using another maybelline product which is the maybelline fit me poreless normal to oily skin um powder and the shade that i have is sun beige or shade 310 obviously you can see that i've been using this product almost all the time <laughs> it's almost finished and i really love this and i learned this technique as well from wayne boss that it's called I think it's called buffing like after you put all your products on your face you just use like a regular face powder and then you use like a buffing brush so basically you uh, dip your brush on the powder just tap off the excess and just very lightly put the product All over your face and down to your neck so this kind of holds everything down and it makes your skin or your look very flawless in a way so we've buffed our face so face is done and what's remaining is the lip so for the lip what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a lip balm first this is by cool and the flavor is watermelon 
just to moisturize my lips a little bit after the balm what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting lipstick on so i'm going to be using i'm going to try to use two shades today so first i'm going to be using the l'oreal color rich or rich cutting edge cork that's the color and the shade is 981 so it's kind of brown i love brown colors and then we're going to be putting on top this lipstick by Rimmel and it's called Moisture in You Berry Rich shade 450. So that is it for today's video guys. I hope you had fun watching it and obviously I'm not a, I'm not trying to be a makeup guru here. I'm not trying to be a YouTube guru. It's just really that I want to share my routine with you just in case any of you want something just really simple, not complicated and also very affordable since most of the products or I think actually all of the products that I used there were all drugstore products except for for my brows which i ordered online through ebay and to the house and yes so i'll see you guys next time and if you have some tips that you wanted to share please comment down below i'd love to hear from you and i'll see you guys again next time bye